And meanwhile, the Lagos State Government has reported a significant rise in its gross domestic product GDP from 27 trillion naira to 41 trillion naira over a span of four years. Okpe George, the State Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget, made these announcements at a ministerial press briefing marking the first year of Governor Sonwolu's second term in office, which took place at Alausa, Ikeja. Despite the challenges faced in recent years, George highlighted the state's positive momentum, noting that it now contributes over 20% of Nigeria's GDP and holds the seventh position in Africa. The operatives of CAI carried out an operations that unearthed a major illegal housing settlement constructed under the Dolphin Bridge in Ikoi, an unbelievable 80 number of rooms partitioned 10 by 10 and 10 by 12, and 26 miscreants and containers used for different legal activities were also discovered. All the structures have been dismantled, and a total of 26 miscreants who lived under the same bridge were arrested while efforts are intensified to arrest the ringleader. We rented out the underbridge apartment, which has also been electricity, which with actual electricity supply. And at least 1,037 individuals have been arrested for crossing the highway and not using pedestrian bridges, along with 165 miscreants and squatters on the bridges in Lagos State. Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab, announced this during the 2024 ministerial press briefing at Alausa Ikeja. The removal of the miscreants and squatters on the bridges is a key part of enforcing the use of pedestrian bridges under the Lagos State Environmental Protection Management Law. The operatives of CAI carried out an operation that unearthed a major illegal housing settlement constructed under the Dolphin Bridge in Ikoi, an unbelievable 80 number of rooms partitioned 10 by 10 and 10 by 12, and 26 miscreants and containers used for different legal activities were also discovered. All the structures have been dismantled, and a total of 26 miscreants who lived under the same bridge were arrested while efforts are intensified to arrest the ringleader. We rented out the underbridge apartment, which has also been electricity, which with actual electricity supply. The commissioner praised Lagos Signage and Advertising Agency Lassa for improving the visual appeal of Lagos and replacing worn out street signs. And this project aims to enhance navigability, safety, and aesthetics in urban areas. The government also collaborated with the AW Quality Monitoring Research Group to conduct an air quality study using 24 low cost air sensors. And this study provides crucial data on PM 2.5 levels and the impact of air pollution and public health on the environment in Lagos. The agency arrested a total of 1,886 people comprising of illegal traders, street traders, environmental polluters, and card pushers. All these individuals were prosecuted according to the 2017 Lagos State Environmental Protection Management Law. The agency also ensured that perishable foods, items, and goods confiscated during the several enforcement raids were donated to orphanages, motherless homes, and the needy prescribed by the law. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.